bring in a video about the Jesuit oath. Many people are still in the dark to this oath. They don't know it exists. They don't know that it's an official oath of the Jesuit order. And of course we have a Jesuit pope today, Pope Francis. And really what I'm going to do is put a link on the video. So you can go directly to this website. It's called remnantofgod.org. And you will see this page come up called the Jesuit Oath of Roman Catholicism. I'm reading off this page. And let me say the Jesuits do not like this being exposed because this is the secret plan of the order. If you read this Jesuit Oath, it's really a prophecy at the same time. And this is given to high Jesuits that take the Jesuit Oath of Induction. It's recorded in the Congressional Record of the USA House Bill. 1523 uh, contested election case of Eugene C. Bonniewell against Thos S. Butler February 15th 1913 and page 3215-3216 and this is an official document that it does exist Jesuits try and come on all the time and debunk this uh, if you go on Google and just type in Jesuit oath You'll see one of my videos come up. It's called uh, uh, Pope Francis and his evil Jesuit oath. And the amount of comments on there, you know, this oath isn't official. It's not an official Jesuit oath. This is a lie. This is, you know, so on and so on. When in fact, the truth is, all you have to do is go onto my blog and you'll find the link there on my YouTube channel. Uh, the about section click on that and you'll see a link for my blog actually on the top of the page of my youtube channel you'll see a link for vatican new world order click on that and you'll get lots of free pdf books the vast majority of them revealing the jesuit oath some of them are hundreds of years old and so this is an official oath of the jesuit order now this oath is when a minor jesuit of minor rank a novice becomes elevated to a position of command and he comes before the superior and makes this oath of the Society of Jesus. I'm not going to read the entire oath, it would take a long time for this video. All I'm going to do is read out the most damning parts of the oath. But remember this is also the secret plan, that's why the Jesuits hate this oath being exposed. Now it's there, and it's out there in the public, they can't take this away, there's that many people have this oath upload this or teach from this or expose this or put it on YouTube videos and websites it's all over the internet so the Jesuits can't remove this but they just try and continually bring out the fact that it's not their oath and it is their oath because they fulfilled that through the letter through history that's proven I'll talk about that further but we read in this oath first of all let me bring a quotation and begin from this part here quote I do further promise and declare, notwithstanding I am dispensed with, to assume my religion heretical for the propaganda of my mother church's interests, to keep secret and private all her agents, counsel from time to time, as they may entrust to me, and not to divulge directly or indirectly by word, right, nor circumstance, whatever, but to execute all that shall be proposed, given in charge or discovered unto me by you, my ghostly father. Ghostly just means spiritual father, as in the superior Jesuit general, the father general, or any of his sacred covenant. And uh, what this reveals is that even the Jesuits will at times uh, assume their religion heretical for the propaganda of the mother church's interest. They will pretend to be a Buddhist, a Hindu, a Sikh, a Muslim, a Democrat, a Republic, uh, a member of the Labour Party in Britain, Conservative. They will be whoever they need to be all across the earth. That's the truth. They will be positioned over governments uh, all across the Middle East also, even the European Union. So a lot of them won't come out as Jesuits in that sense. You know, they'll come out against uh, the Catholic Church at times. They will also be, in all governments, they will be even in the opposition parties. Uh, they're at the highest commands, really also of the intelligence organizations and this is really a powerful revelation when you read this Jesuit oath it reveals that that really they're an order of infiltration 
continue, I do further promise and declare that I will have no opinion or will of my own, or any mental reservation whatsoever, even as a corpse or cadaver, but will unhesitantly obey each and every command that I may receive from my superiors in the militia of the Pope and of Jesus Christ. Now the Jesuits were known as the militia of the Pope initially, of course, but today they do not serve the Pope of Rome, they serve the Black Pope, the Superior General, the Father General. He is the General of the Jesuit Order, and every Jesuit today that's under this oath, they have no opinion or will of their own. They have no mental reservation, that means they have no conscience. They cannot disagree with any command that they're given. Continue, I further promise and declare that I will, when opportunity presents, make and wage relentless war. Let me say first of all, this oath is an oath to go wherever you're commanded to go, to do whatever you're commanded to do. And the whole purpose of this oath is to bring warfare all across the planet. Quote, secretly or openly against all heretics, Protestants and liberals, as I'm directed to do, to exterminate them from the face of the whole earth. That's the agenda, is to exterminate who? Protestants and liberals. That I will spare neither age nor sex or condition. I will hang them, waste them, boil them, flay them, strangle them, bury alive these infamous heretics. Rip up the stomachs and wombs of their women and crush the infants' heads against the walls. These are really, you know, serial killers. That's what they are. People talk about serial killers and the FBI tries to profile them and, you know, try and identify them and so on. And you have all of these serial killers through history. But the fact is the Jesuit order are the worst. They are the worst. You know, and they come across as angels of light. They come across as... The Society of Jesus. That's why Ignatius Loyola chose the name Society of Jesus. Who would suspect that you know they would be the ones that would be bringing world wars, revolutions? But in this oath, they really committed to murder. Let's just call it what it is. I will spare neither age nor sex or condition. I will hang them. I will waste them. I will boil them. I will flay them. I will strangle them and bury alive these infamous heretics. You saw clearly during the reign of the Third Reich. That's exactly what the Jesuits done through the Third Reich. That's the truth. And millions of people were put to death. See, they will hang, they will bury alive, they will strangle these infamous heretics. They will rip open the stomachs and wombs of their women and crush the infants, the children's heads against the walls in order to annihilate forever their race. And when the same cannot be done openly, I will secretly use the poison cup, the strangulation cord, the steel of the poniard, or the leaden bullet, regardless of the honour or rank or dignity or authority of the person or persons. Now when you go on the internet and you do a search on the Jesuits, you come across a lot of Catholic websites, even the Jesuit Curia, even uh, you know all of these Jesuit websites, they talk about the fact that the Jesuits are really you know, the best in education and they are I'll give them that you know that's how they control the new world order that's how they control the governments of the earth is through education but they talk about the spiritual exercises how really it's about philosophy and knowing thyself and you know about about personal perfection and so on it's not it's not it's about being trained to be in this militia it's about being trained in order that you can have self-control and obey the general so that you are completely under the will of the general, you have no conscience. What the exercises do completely to those at the highest levels is break down your free will, break down your conscience. You have no mental reservation. And you will go wherever you're sent to, to be an agent of the Black Pope. And really, they're killers. Let's just understand that. They're killers. And Pope Francis has taken this off. So once again, I'm bringing this out because it has to continually be brought out. Who the Society of Jesus are. Continue quote. I will not regard the honour or rank or dignity or authority of the person or persons. Whoever may be the condition in life. Either public or private. As I at any time may be directed to do. By any agent of the Pope. Or superior of the Brotherhood of the Holy Faith. Of the Society 
of Jesus. They have to obey. Not every Jesuit has taken this oath, I'll admit that. There are you know, hundreds of uh, law professed Jesuits who don't understand. A society within a society, those at the highest levels, they are committed to warfare all across the earth. All of the wars that we see, I mean every one of them, they are committed by the society of Jesus. So this oath is really, as I've said, it's their secret agenda, their secret plan, but it's also a prophecy. We've seen through history all of the governments being overthrown. But the Jesuits, what they continually do, because they're always exposed. You see during the time of the Reformation, and also the 1700s and 1800s, there was, there was so many books brought out exposing them that they were uh, suppressed and expelled in the 1700s and 1773. So they really create many different organizations, of course, many of them. And today you have a lot of interlocking organizations. Uh, for instance, you have the Roundtable Group, which is the Trilateral Commission, the CFR, the Club of Rome, uh, Royal Institute of International Affairs. It's just the very tip of the iceberg. You have the Pilgrim Society, you have the Vatican Knighthoods of Malta, Columbus, you have Opius Dio, you have all of these organizations which are really just front organizations for the Jesuits. They're in control of the world and, uh, you know, they also use the Catholic Church to have control uh, over the Vatican. This oath, you must read this oath. Now, understand that Pope Francis is a high Jesuit. He was a Jesuit provincial over the entire region of South America. He was a high Jesuit, one of the highest, uh, governing on the Jesuit Curia from the Church of the Jesu in Rome. That's the Jesuits' headquarters. That's the mother church next to the Vatican. That's the real Vatican. That's the real headquarters. That's the real power over the Vatican City State. And the Jesuits have positioned their black pope, their superior general, who is Pope Francis. To be the Pope of Rome, of course. Very significant time we're living in right now. Uh, there will be a prosecution against the church and it will be directed from the Church of the Jesu. It will come from Rome. It will come from the Black Pope. This war against heretics, it will no longer be secret. It will come out in the open again as it did during the Dark Ages. It will come out again. That's the truth. The Jesuits have had to do it secretly, covertly, Working through governments to bring their wars. That's what they all are. Wars of Inquisition. From the Holy Office of the Inquisition. That's the First World War, the Second World War. Even going back to the Ponyonic War. The Russian, Re Russian Revolution. When you read this Jesuit oath. There are many parts of it I haven't had time to quote. But you will read there that they are committed to bringing revolutions. Overthrown governments. That's their secret agenda. That's why the Jesuits hate this oath being proclaimed on the internet and that's why they come on the videos that expose this bring in their misinformation and disinformation read this oath the Jesuits are truly committed to evil pure evil and you know people get very horrified when they read a book on some serial killer you know and uh, you know can't comprehend how people could be that wicked well the Jesuit order have been the worst serial killers in history, and they still are. In fact, the only way you can command at the highest levels in the society, the secret society of the Brotherhood of Jesus, is to be committed to any act of murder. You will do whatever is commanded you. You'll strangle. That's right, you will assassinate anyone you're commanded to assassinate. Understand that these are the people that rule our governments. These are the people that run the Vatican. These are the people that run the international intelligence community for the black pop these are the people that run the banking system these are the people that overthrow governments through their central intelligence agencies and NSA and FBI and British MI6 and Israeli Mossad these are the people that run our world the Jesuits of Rome they will go underground if necessary and hide behind front organizations that done that for the last 300 years and now they're above ground. Now they're out in the open again. And they will bring their inquisition, prosecution against the church. So we must understand this brotherhood, understand who they are. Because the black pope today is the one that controls all governments. And I mean all presidents, all prime ministers. They're all Jesuit trained 
and uh, they are serial killers. That's the name of the video. The Jesuits are serial killers. Very simple title. Uh, thank you for watching the video and all roads lead to Rome.